Hello guys, welcome back to Ninjago News TV. Today I'm taking a look at the top 5 ninja suits. During the run of Ninjago, the ninja have had many different ninja suits. In fact, over 10 different suits. They typically get a new suit every season, and in very rare occasions, they will have two suits per season. And I think it's these suits are very well designed, and I'm going to take a look at their designs and rank them. So, I'm only taking a look at the top five, and I'm also going to be listing a couple honorable mentions, which didn't make it to this video, but I still really love the suit nevertheless. So without further ado, let's get started. Season 8's Gi is my fifth favorite. I'm going to explain why I like this gi. It's very simple, yet very formal, and it still expresses the nin ninja's personalities very well. I love how each of the nin ninja suits in Season 8 are also very different from each other. They vary, the variation, there's a lot of it, there's a lot of variation, and I love how formal, yet simple, these suits are. I really love the colors, additionally, and how vibrant they are. I mean, take Lloyd's suit. It's really, I love the different shades of green, the different patterns and everything. I also love how they have symbols on their bands above their foreheads that also will say something, they represent something. And in addition, their armor is nice too. It's kind of the skybound ar armor, but silver instead, and it holds two swords. So very nice suit. I love how simple yet formal it is. In fourth place, I have the original, not the very original, but one of the original ZX suits, which were utilized in Season 1 and Season 2. These suits are very classic to me and very nostalgic also. I love the colors additionally and the armor on their foreheads. This suit was pretty much the first ninja armor technically, considering the original suits had literally no armor on them. And I love how these suits were actually designed to fight off the serpentine, so it was actually kind of, I love the adaptations of the suit. The armor was designed to keep them safe from serpentine, I believe. And then in addition, it also expresses their personalities very well with Zane. And I also love how Zane and Kai have golden armor, while Cole and Jay have silver armor. It kind of relates to their primary colors also. And yes, their armor, as I mentioned, is very nice, especially the shoulder pads in particular and how they do hold their weapons in the show, in both the show and actually Legos too. In third place, I have the Deep Stone armor used in season five. I really like this these suits and I'm gonna explain why. For one, these suits brought new a new style of ninja suits to Ninjago, which stuck around for about three seasons before the season eight suit designs hit Ninjago. That style, of course, was actually using black as one of their secondary colors on the suit which was actually used fully in Season 5 and Season 6, and a different variation of that was used in Season 7 with some other colors too. Another thing to mention is that the hoods also had black and the ninja's color, which of course was a great contrast, except for Cole, of course, who had gray instead of his traditional black color. Now, except for Cole, all the ninja suits looked amazing with that kind of hood, especially ninja like Kai and Lloyd, I really appreciated their contrast from their normal vibrant bright primary color to that secondary black color. In addition, I also similarly to the ZX suits, love the way that this suit was had different adaptations for the enemies that they were fighting. These deep stone suits prevented ghosts from possessing them, which is actually why they were used in the first place. In addition, I like the little straps and the, even the leg detail is very nice in this. My runner-up choice is the Destiny Robe from Season 6, also referred to as Air Jitsu Robes, I believe. I don't know the complete title, I just found this on the wiki, uh, so please bear that in mind. Anyway, I really love this suit, and I'm going to explain some of my reasons once again. I like the piratey kind of feel with those golden little buckles, the golden style, and that new armor pad, which was actually new then, and then it got used again in Season 8, which was, keep in mind, two seasons after... And, yes, it also got used in Day of the Departed, I believe. Another thing I really want to mention is how they their elemental emblems did return, but in a different fashion, sort of. Now their elemental emblems are actually represented by animals. Jay's is an octopus, 
K- Coles is a gorilla, I believe. Kai's is a lion. You get it, right? Lloyd's is still a dragon, etc. Zane's is a wolf, and so on. I really like this idea because it's super creative, and it kind of helps to connect to the ninja's powers, especially. The design with the, or their elemental emblem floating on that air jitsu tornado is also really pleasant, and it really makes the suit look a lot nicer. Anyways, it's just a really nicely designed suit. I've also decided to list two honorable mentions that didn't quite make it to this list, but are honestly right below it. Those honorable mentions are the Jungle Gi from the latter portion of Season 4, and the Honor Robe which was used for Day of the Departed. I'm going to just briefly explain why I like each of these. The Jungle Gi, also referred to as Zuki Gi, is very nicely designed, and I like how... I like their leather straps and such. I love the way that little knives and stuff are placed in those straps, and their elemental symbols do return in a different fashion, though, and I love it. Honor Robe from Day of the Departed is also very nice because it's a collection of all the ninja's past suits. Well, not all of them, but some of them. And that, of course, would be the original, ZX, and I believe a couple others. The element that they maintained from the original was, of course, that original strap with the golden emblem. Then from ZX, of course, the hoods. And then there's also that skybound armor and some other stuff. I love the way that it collects all of the past seasons, elements from past season ropes. Another honorable mention that I don't really have a photo for and I'm not going to explain in depth is Season 9 robe, which looks really nice, just different, but really nice. But anyways, now for my number one choice. In first place, I have the Elemental Kimonos, used for the last few episodes of Season 2. These are still the most unique of any Ninjago suit. Here's why. They're the most formal, definitely. Now, I know I said Season 8 was formal, but this is formal in an intricate very unique way that kind of shows the ancient kimonos and such. And I love these suits. The designs are amazing and it kind of shows some kind of, a for, like I've said, formal sensei-like gi. Not really something you'd expect a ninja to wear, right? No, it's so nice. In season two, of course, that was when the series was supposed to end and the ninja had obviously learned a lot since they started it off. I personally theorized that these suits were used to make the ninja seem as kind of like they've learned a lot, and to show their journey. Kind of make them seem like masters, right? With that whole kimono thing. And I honestly love these suits. The design with the golden armor and the lettering and the emblems on the back is so nice. And it really captures their elemental power. It it probably captures their elemental power more than their personality, but that's okay, right? I mean, in that part of season two, they were getting their elemental blades and Lloyd was unlocking his golden dragon. And I mean, I think that was probably, that probably deserved to be focused on by the suits more. Overall, it's just a really unique suit that portrays their elemental powers and their journey as a ninja very much. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone, everyone you know, and I will see you next time.